Well, this here is a cautionary tale about two men who embarked on a whirlwind adventure. Broadcasting live from an airstream somewhere in Tornado Alley, bringing you the people, places, and stories from the Panhandle to the Red River. This is your Only in Oklahoma show. So you think you're the world's best shopper? Well, welcome to the show because this one is for you. It's the world's largest garage sale going on in Duncan. And later in the show, we are going to talk about some development going on in downtown Chickasha. Some big development. I'm Brett. And I am Harley. So once again, once in a blue moon, we get called out. No, we get called out pretty regularly. Okay, we do. We, we do. But, but you know, we ask for it. We ask for it. We said, hey, good reviews, bad reviews, tell us what you got. Absolutely. And apparently, we are a little lazy with our pronunciation uh-huh. sometimes. Yeah. And we don't properly mm-hmm. enunciate the O in the middle of Tishomingo. I can see that. Here's the problem, and I'm not defending us. Sounds how many? Like you are. But how many towns in the great state of Oklahoma have a similar situation? Miami, Hun- Hunnaby, Alec, Alec, Alec. Is Visai really Visai? Is it Vicky? I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna find out because somebody's gonna <laughs> somebody's gonna write in. But Tishomingo, we apologize. Yes, we are very lazy with our with our pronunciation sometimes. And sometimes with our approach to most things. But we do apologize. From the bottom from the bottom of our heart, please and, and tell Blake Shelton we're sorry too. <laughs> I'm just saying. I think it's more important that you tell Blake's mom. Yeah, probably. Because I'm not sure that Blake spends a whole lot of time there. He does. Does he really? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, that's home. One town that we know that we can pronounce mainly because it sounds like Dunkin' Donuts is Duncan. And this year they're having their annual tradition. It's 30 years. 30 years. The world's largest garage sale. And I think there's probably an asterisk on there. Yeah, somebody out there's going. Because somebody somewhere is like, ah, you know, we have 700 square mile garage sale, you know, whatever. Yeah. Um, but it's huge. It's yeah. the whole town of Duncan, Oklahoma has thing. this garage sale. Uh, it's coming up this weekend, July 15th and 16th. Over 10,000 people come to Duncan. It's like a citywide, it's basically like the world's largest citywide garage sale. And people come from everywhere. Dude, we've been there. Yes. A couple of times yep. now. One year we didn't do the best job because yeah, we, we kind of showed cut. up, yeah, a little late. So we kind of got the tail end of it. Mm-hmm. But one thing I've noticed on the occasions that we've been out there, you see a lot of out of state tags, a lot. Because uh, okay, I'm guilty. When you start saying garage sale, you say flea market, you say red barn market, you say swap meet. I'm in. I got a bunch of stuff that I don't need. Thanks to things just... And now you're going to give me the world's largest selection of stuff I don't need. Well, I think more importantly, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, the fact that most of the residents of Duncan will hang on to all of their garage yep. sale items oh, until yeah. this weekend. Yep. You have the businesses in town that do a lot of sidewalk sales as well. So whether you're looking for new or slightly used or, you know, some vintage uh, items, yep. you're going to... You're going to find what you're looking for if you look hard enough. Well, if you're one of those guys like me, it's like the wife is on your ass. You need to get rid of that. I'm hanging on to it till next year. We're going to sell it and make half of what we paid for it. This is this These things speak to me. Well, there are a lot of items. Dude, how many times have you gone out and paid full retail for something where mm-hmm. you know yeah. that if you would have... Did a little bit of looking around, you could have found found it, Yep, you know, for a tenth of the cost. And especially, there's a lot of those items, okay, for me, you can spend a mint on kids' clothes, Mm -hmm. kids' toys, for something they're literally going to grow out of in six minutes. Grow out of, or break in five minutes. I love these guys. I'm going to be there. Well, one of the things that I look for... When I'm doing the garage sale thing. Satchels. No, I'm looking for tools. I like I like older tools because I think they were built better. Like a chisel? A no. lathe? What? Well, no, like power tools. Right. 
I think you, the power tools that you find yeah. that are ten years older than the current model stuff, they're built better. They're mm-hmm. built better. They're they're sturdier with than, a cord. I like the corded tools. Yes. yes, but I also like vintage tools. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm I'm a big fan of you know having backups to my regular tools. Mm-hmm. So I'm always on the lookout for you know a good handsaw, a handsaw or an an old timer's knife. I bet you can find an old timer's knife. I bet you could find a ton of old timers' knives mm-hmm. uh, at this event. The majority of the sales though are happening on Friday and Saturday. Hours are going to vary. Some people will jump the gun a little bit, and you'll yep. find stuff for you'll find people open for business on Thursday. And if you are like Brett and I a yep. couple of years ago, if you show up on Sunday, you're still going to find some people doing the garage sale thing. Yeah, even and, and here's the thing: while you're there. There's plenty of other things to do. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a cute little town to sightsee in. The, there is a lot of stuff to do. They've got the uh, train depot and museum. They've got a bunch of murals scattered throughout the town. They've got, I don't know, three or four Bob Palmer murals throughout town. Mm-hmm. And that's what I like, too, is, you know, a lot of these small towns, if you go through and you can kind of see where the old, where the old Coca-Cola paintings used to be. I like that, mm-hmm. but I also think it's it adds some character to it as well, where they they do something like this and put like a because I think that one time they had a crepe myrtle, uh, they, it's still there yeah, on, the, still on there. the side of I mean, the theater. So I like that they repurpose that. Um, they also have I think a lot of those murals are a tribute to the Oklahoma Music Trail, mm-hmm. which I think is cool. But they, as far as other things to do in the area, they've got the uh, County Historical Museum. They've got the Kiwanis Kitty Land, which I believe is yeah. now back open from COVID. Okay, you remember when we went in Co- uh, the Kitty Land? Wasn't it just had this? It almost had like this haunted. Uh, it was even during the day, but it had like this haunted. I don't know. If it felt it. haunted. It just felt out of. It didn't feel right because it wasn't open. Right. It was fenced off. Well, I mean, it's always it looked, fenced off. Well, I know, but it looked like it was under quarantine, and it, it was. <laughs> it was under quarantine. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's definitely a lot of fun. There's a lot of neat little restaurants there. Go have yourself a cup of Viridian coffee. I promise if you try the coffee at Viridian, you will not like Starbucks anymore. You won't. And tell, when you get to Viridian, tell them an only okay show since you're crying out loud because every time I'm in town, I get a caramel mochiato with a shot of espresso. That's why I talk so bad. <laughs> and if you're looking for any details on the sale or anything else that's going on, they're going to be putting some inserts in the Thursday and Friday editions of the Duncan Banner and the Chisholm Trail Shopper for that sale that week. so Awesome. Well, coming up after the break, there's a big dig happening in Chickasha. So I'm waiting. I think there's... Anticipating? No, I think... You know how trends always come back and you see the kids running around with the mullets? Yeah. The mullets and the bell bottoms. And the crop top... Guys wearing crop tops and cut-off shorts? Yeah. I'm thinking there's a whole lot Mm -hmm. of... Missed opportunity. Well, I don't know if it's missed opportunity. I think you're going to see a whole lot of vintage style yep. t-shirts. Yep, I've seen it a lot, for sure. I think if you have a small business, it's time to update your logo, Absolutely. your design, a little 70s flashback, mm-hmm. and I think you are the most popular t-shirt around. Right. So you got to broaden your 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 demographic sometimes. Your target audience, it, you know, Hell, I'll wear a shirt that looks like it's from the 70s. But there's a lot of these. I don't mind my, my, I'll have my two-year-old wear a shirt that if it, if it promotes a business. If it just looks cool. If it looks cool. A hundred percent. And if your logo needs some love or if it's time for you to kind of switch up your t-shirt game, you need to reach out to our friend Ronnie Davenport over at Tailboard Apparel. Absolutely. It's easy as one, two, three. I mean, I know that's so, so cliche, but. Give him a call. Get that free quote at 405-517-2174. Or find him on the internet at tailboardapparel.com. I'm stealing your thunder a little bit here, Brett. I'm going to take over the news. Maybe you'll do it better. (laughs) So today's news story is from the Washita Valley Community News. Hot off the press. Chickasha Downtown Park, Phase 1 Groundbreaking. This is good news. Dude. I've seen the mock-ups. Okay, Seriously. for starters, it looks cool. Yeah. They've got the leg. They've got, they the, got the leg. The, the Christmas story leg. The Christmas story leg there, which I think is awesome, yeah. and I hope that it's really there. I hope when it's all said and done, it's that there. leg is really there. This needs to be, 
you're basically Chickasha is Christmas Town USA. Am I wrong? You're not wrong. And this this is supposed to be complete. This new park downtown is supposed to be complete right before the Festival of Lights begins. I mean, I feel like if your target is then and you don't hit it, uh, everybody's gonna they're gonna riot. <laughs> they, they might <laughs> they might riot. I don't know what a Chickasha riot would look like. It would probably would just be like several angry angry, angry people uh, pumping their fists and like with pitchforks. <laughs> uh, but you know. Kind of a tie in to something we've talked yeah. about in the past a little bit. This park directly across the street from Brandy's new restaurant, Brandy's oh. Bar and Grill, which hopefully will be opening around the same time. That would be a perfect timing. I think not only would it be a perfect timing, but I feel like it would be a great grand opening for both the park and the restaurant. Yeah, they've got, especially on that end of that end of the street down there. There's a lot of things. There's a lot of things. That's a, a it's bustle. Happening. Yeah. It's happening right there. So I almost feel like this was a this is a foregone conclusion. You got to do something in that 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 part of town. I, I agree 100. percent And I feel like they're they're stretching their dollars quite a oh, bit. Yeah. It surprised me. They're doing this and they raised twenty five thousand dollars in donations to get this done. And dude, nothing happens for twenty five thousand. Nothing happens. Like if you know if. If somebody's building something, it's right. it's always one point seven billion or million or trillion, right? And they're doing this for twenty five k. I'm Im- impressed at the creativity that right. That I that, mean, that's some bang for your buck. For it 25 really grand. is. Um, but I think it's going to be a great addition to the city of Chickasha, and at the perfect time of year. Oh yeah, you know, it, you're, you're hundreds of thousand people, hundreds of thousands of people come to Chickasha mm-hmm. for the Festival of Lights. Having some place where you can kind of expand on the concept, and I think there's something that I, something tells me the timing of which they are getting this launched. There, I think there's there's more to come. Oh, for sure. I, we just don't know it yet. I, I think Chick- Chickasha is on the move, and I'm super excited. And speaking of being excited, yeah, if you guys are excited about what you're hearing on our show, yeah. Please, when you go to these places, when you roll into Chickasha and, uh, you know, check out the lights or whatever, let people know that you heard about it here on the Only an OK Show. Or lie. Just lie and say, I heard it. I don't care if you're from here. You heard it here. Okay? (laughs) Well, this has been the Only an OK Show. I'm Harley. And I'm Brett. And we're out of here. Peace. Duncan National Garage Sale, uh, the Duncan Donut, Duncan Donuts donation across the nation garage sale extravaganza. Tisho Mingo. I think we could talk about that, or if you have something that you want to talk about, like the opening, we can mm. talk about the fact that we are lazy with our we're lazy with our pronunciations. O's, our O's. We make our O's sound like A's, so we're a ho we're AOs for doing it. This isn't kidding. There's a couple of AOs. <laughs> Only in Oklahoma where an O sounds like an O. <laughs> Who does that? Where I sound like us and O's actually sound like O's sometimes. The Only an OK show. Only an OK show. Only an OK. Welcome to the Only an OK show. Dude, wait. And welcome to the Only an OK show. Well, today we're talking about the world's largest garage sale in Duncan, Oklahoma. I'm Freddy, and I'm doing it alone. You ever been to a garage sale that was as big as the world? Well, this here is a cautionary tale about two men who embarked on a whirlwind adventure and what happens when they get a flat tire in the wrong part of the town here. <laughs> This here legend I'm about to unfold. <laughs> you got a legend to unfold? I dang sure do. Okay, and what will our legend be about? Well, this legend I'm about to unfold here. If he'll shut his damn phone off, I'll tell the story. Yeah, I figured you ought to tell the story about the legend that's about to unfold here with these two fellers. 
There were these two fellers that recorded a travel podcast and they ended up getting eaten by rattlesnakes. That's a lot of rattlesnakes because rattlesnakes don't really eat a lot. Well, that's why it's a tall tale. I'm just making stuff up. Really? Really? Because rattlesnakes don't eat humans. They bite people. They put their poison inside of them. It's a venom. Is a rattlesnake poisonous or venomous? It's venomous. More, I heard somebody say, is a rattlesnake poisonous? No. Cyanide. Isn't that the difference? I believe so. What are you drinking there? An elixir? Uh, yeah, it's a... Uh, Cucumber water with a jalapeno zest. I think it's just <laughs> water, bro. I'm having a jalapeno reduction water drip. What is, what is a... Drinking a water reduction? <gasps> exactly. This is triple filtered water, so it's air, basically. <laughs> What's the purest water you can get? Purified water? You're, I knew you were going to say it. You're going to say purified water. Uh, what is the best water to drink? I like my Berkey water. Urine? <laughs> You like Berkey water. I like my Berkey water. It takes six hours to get a to get a glass. No, it doesn't. You still do it on. It's like you used to catch it like you were. It was maple syrup. It's good. Like don't can't drink it yet. Why? Because it still got a half a pot in you. I know it's good, but it's is it worth the wait? You still have a water filtration system that you can take and filter pond water with. Yeah, I remember we did that to river water. Mm-hmm. Because we didn't have any other water to drink. You mean because somebody took the, the, supplies? the supplies in their canoe and went ahead of us by about three miles to get a, to get a cell phone signal? Yeah. Do you think you get a better cell phone signal now? I mean, that was eight years ago. Um, actually, I don't think there was a spot on the river where I didn't have a cell phone signal. Really? Yeah. God. Literally, I was playing music. On my serious XM never, app, it never, it never, it never paused. paused. Yeah, that's cool. That's really cool. I'm like, ready to kick this pig. I like it when you talk about technology. It's like really cool. I admire your technological talks. If you had a robot neck, you would have a tech, a tech, <laughs> tech, <neck. laughs> a tech neck, a tech neckle. I have a technical. <laughs> that's what the Terminator has. I am a T2000. I have a tech neckle, tech neckle. Okay, let's go, please. Isn't cryptocurrency technically technical? That would probably be a really good name for the next whatever the new ne- Bitcoin spinoff. Are you technical. listening, Musk? Dogecoin is out. Technical is in. Technical. Okay, bud. Are you the world's best shopper? Let's go shopping. Three, two, Wait, one. I was doing it like the Satan. <laughs> yes. <shirts>. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Are we doing that? Are you the world's best shopper? Well, then, welcome to the show. If you are, welcome to the show. I don't know. I Let's just do put it. it on there. Let's do this. Ready? Three, two, one.